General first, Barr, I was worried you seem about to the District be of Columbia, which is federal. In certain parts of the country, you're very aware of those. But when protesters with guns and swastikas I'm very, and I am aware of, flag, of excuse me, Mr. Barr, this is government. my time and I control it. <clears throat> You are aware of certain kinds of protesters, but in Michigan, when protesters carry guns and Confederate flags and swastikas and call for the governor of Michigan to be beheaded and shot and lynched, somehow you're not aware of that. Somehow you didn't know about it, so you didn't send federal agents in to do to the president's supporters what you did to the president's protesters. In fact, you didn't you didn't put pepper balls on those protesters. So the point I'm trying to make here, Mr. Barr, that I think is very important for the country to understand is that there is a real discrepancy in how you react as the attorney general, the top cop in this country, when white men with swastikas storm a government building with guns, there is no need for the president to, quote, activate you because they're getting the president's personal agenda done. But when black people and people of color protest police brutality, systemic racism, and the president's very own lack of response to those critical issues, then you forcibly remove them with armed federal officers, pepper bombs, because they are considered terrorists by the president. You take an aggressive approach to Black Lives Matter protests, but not to right-wing extremists threatening to lynch a governor if it's for the Trump's, if it's for the president's benefit. Did I get it right, Mr. Barr? Wrong. This episode brought to you by Orion Metal Exchange. Check out this free offer for my subscribers. How far will your US dollar go once we tally up all the debt accumulated in the fight against coronavirus? How will government mandated business shutdowns affect the economy moving forward? Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and Citigroup all see gold soaring, forecasting $2,000 an ounce for gold. Orion Metal Exchange is Consumer Affairs top rated gold IRA dealer. Call today and request a free investment kit below. Mention drone tech politics and get a free one ounce silver coin for qualified retirement account holders. Must be over 40 to qualify. Call 866-915-5053 and get your free investment guide today. Well, I just got done sitting through this entire hearing all day today. I was live streaming and this particular portion really got me pretty enraged. So I just wanted to do a quick video about this particular portion. I mean, the entire thing was a circus with the Democrats just lying through their teeth and not letting uh, AG Barr respond at all uh, to the point where Republicans had to give up all their time to allow him to respond which was probably the uh, strategy there. But during her uh, specific portion, she made many claims that were just completely baseless. They were they were lies that won't be fact-checked in the media. They'll be perpetuated. The media will just play it and not respond to her. But she made the claim multiple times that white men with swastikas and Confederate flags uh, making threats to the governor uh, were in Michigan uh, protesting the lockdown. And A.G. Barr did nothing about that because the implication is, he, is that he's racist and that he does act against these black protesters. Well, uh, despite the fact that it's a mixture, she said it was people of color, although it's everybody. Um, but the point is she was making this claim trying to demonize the other protesters. The fact is the other protesters were completely peaceful. There was no burning down of anything. Uh, they did lawfully open carry their weapons. Uh, but again, that's not breaking any laws. And we've seen uh, with our own eyes that the other side is doing the exact same thing. They're actually shooting people. Well, we're seeing stories now where they're shooting each other, mostly, it seems like. But the point is here is that she she keep making she keeps making this claim that SWAT they were they were SWAT because the the governor made the same claim and uh, made several videos about it when it happened. Uh, but they they keep making this claim knowing that just just repeating it over and over makes it true. And of course, Barr nor anybody any of the Republicans refuted her. Uh, she even showed a picture. Uh, which was one picture of a lady with a badly drawn swastika, which was clearly meant as satire, calling the governor of Michigan uh, a, a Nazi for her uh, the edicts and the lockdowns. She wasn't endorsing Nazism, clearly. I mean, this is obvious. And there were no white people there, no white men with swastikas. Nobody was carrying around Nazi swastikas. Nobody. Go ahead and search. Do any go a Google search. You will not find a, si a single example. And yet she's able to make this claim with no fact checks. So you know exactly what to expect if Democrats win. It's going to be Democrats say whatever they want. Uh, it won't matter if it's true or not. The president, uh, no matter what he says or not, there will be these fact checks will disappear. 
uh, overnight. And then there's this claim that the protesters were making threats against the governor. I'm sorry, but maybe there was somebody making threats, but you cannot then sweepingly uh, demonize the entire protest movement because one or two people made threats. You don't even know who the people that made those threats are. They could have been anybody. I'm sorry, but a bunch of threats is not violence, and the other side is making plenty of threats. BLM leaders are openly making threats on national news, and it's completely hypocritical because there's communists, anarchists, plenty of people doing violence on the other side, and yet they say, oh no, it's mostly peaceful. It's just a few agitators. Oh, so when it's their people, they can pick and choose who the bad ones are and then push them away and say, oh, they're not, they're not associated with us. But on the other hand, you can do that to the other side and it's not even questioned. What we just witnessed there was an unhinged rant from a, a woman who's clearly uh, not quite right in the head. Uh, she would not let AG Barr respond because the, it's not hard to poke holes in what she's saying uh, and so the the rest of the hearing was exactly the same way um, I'm gonna do try and do highlight reel showing everything else but there was just so much just so much I mean uh, bar would have had to been taking really uh, uh, perfect notes about everything they were saying because they were just just lobbing so many accusations one after the other uh, and not allowing him to respond so that when he finally did get a chance, he might remember something and, and say, but there was tons of stuff that went unopposed. So uh, I recommend you go through and watch it. Uh, it'll drive you insane, but it's, it's good to see just to see how insane these Democrats are and how important it is that we all go out and vote in November. That's all for this one. I just wanted to do a quick video while it was fresh in everybody's minds and get it out there before five o'clock. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share and subscribe. If you want to support this channel, you can do so on any of the platforms listed in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.